What's going on, everyone? We're back with another session on the Undead Hunter. This is episode two. In the first episode, we got to level four. We uh, kind of experimented building out this character, checking out the new customization and everything. So if you haven't seen episode one, go back and check that out on the channel. A lot of people um, actually found the video kind of randomly. It seemed like YouTube was pushing it out. So thank you, everybody who watched episode one and everybody who's here for episode two. Uh, this I was just doing for fun, but um, if you guys like it too, I'm happy to have you join me on this journey. And uh, yeah, so leave some comments down below. Let me know if you're liking this, if you want me to switch anything up. Um, like the video if you can, and, and uh, let's jump in episode two here. So we have a quest here. We're going to Executor Aaron at Death Now. So we're sort of pushing into this town. Um, in the first episode, we realized that we had been brought back to life as an undead. And we sort of chatted with a couple other undeads in the area and learned that a lot of them are shocked, uh, disappointed, upset that they are undead, as any person would be. So kind of cool to get some depth in the story here. What do we have here? A new hunter ready for battle, eh? Uh, and also, if you're here for the first time in episode two, I do uh, kind of an immersive experience here, so I'll be reading the quests. Ooh, level five, and holy cow. We just got a lot of skills, pet-related skills. So we're gonna... All right, we're gonna check these out in a minute. We'll read the quests, and then we'll check all of this out. Oh my, okay. Actually, before we read the quest, let's just look at what skills we did get. So we got Aspect of the Cheetah, which is amazing because it's going to increase our movement speed by 90% for three seconds and then 30% for another nine seconds. So that's really great for getting around. They've actually changed how this worked um, from vanilla. So that's interesting. Beast Lore gathers information about the target beast displaying diet, a whole bunch of stuff about the beast. I don't think I've ever used this skill when I've played a hunter. Um, has anybody else? Okay, then we've got Tame Beast, which is going to be a skill we're certainly going to want to use, and we want to do that pretty much right away. I'd love to get a pet. Revive your pet. We've got Mend Pet. We've got Feed Pet. So, I have a question. Do you still need to feed pet in Retail WoW? Um, feeding it kind of just heals the pet. Got it. Okay. Dismiss Pet. Call Pet. And then this beast lore thing. Okay, great. First of all, look at your armor. You're a mess, Hunter. If you'd like to stay in one piece, and I've no doubt you do, perhaps I can help. If you can gather some paws and wings from the wolves and bats nearby, maybe I'll find some armor for you. You'll find the creatures to the north and to the west of here. All right, so we got to get some bats and uh, basically kill a couple things around here. So let's put our skills to the test. And also, if we see a beast... I think we can tame this. So let's maybe we give that a try first. We're gonna have our first pet as a hunter, which is awesome. You know, in classic, which really is the bulk of my ooh, it got bigger too, is the bulk of my experience um, playing a hunter. It was level ten that you first got your pet. What's kind of crazy is, as a hunter, you're just kind of always on the move, always killing things. Because you can send your pet, you can, you know, shoot it from afar, you can be moving. It's pretty insane, actually. Disengage. Alright, so we're just kind of plowing down a couple of these mangy dusk bats. So not much story-wise to this quest, aside from just kind of... I'm gonna put this on defensive, actually. Um, just kind of clearing out some of the trash in the woods here. All right, we need two more bats. Yeah, that speed buff is so nice to have at an early level, too. It's really, really nice. All right, cool. Time for turn in. such a haunting sound in this zone. The music is sort of eerie. Do try your best to keep yourself unharmed until I get you some armor. 
Oh, I'm sorry. That was the story to this. I'd forgotten. He's making us armor with the uh, resources we just gathered. Thank you, Boneblade. This armor should help you out. Hopefully it should do you more good than the last one to wear it. Oh, gosh. So that's cool. He built us a set of armor. One of our greatest struggles is obtaining the natural resources we need to survive. Gold was scarce in Lordaeron, even in the height of the Alliance's power so many years ago. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh. I apologize for that. There is a gold mine to the west that has been overrun with spiders. We need gold for the mine, but we can't very well get it while the spiders are crawling around in there. I have not much manpower to commit to the task, so we'll just have to do it little by little. Get up there and see what you can do for us, Boneblade. All right, so we're off to take on the spiders. And what's so great about this game is you're at the quest giver. You know you're about to kill spiders, and you look off into the distance, and there's just webs. And you know, oh boy, we're headed there, and we're headed for trouble. That's just great game design. These early zones have really, really nice game design. young nightweb spider and you crest over the hills and see them so i'm just gonna kind of fly around and knock some stuff out i think we can actually send my pet on other mobs and if i just gather them i think i can loot them all at once what is the range of my about 40 yards And this is just a kill quest, so I don't even have to loot these if I don't want. I forgot that I have cannibalized. I just want to try this. Oh, it's got to be humanoids or undead. Okay. Um, nightweb spiders. So now we're actually, those were the young nightweb spiders. All right, into the cave. Okay, glitched out. So far, everything that we're facing is yellow to us, so we haven't had to deal with any aggro situations yet, which is kind of nice. Did I put men's pet on here twice? I definitely did. Um, which means I lost a skill that I needed. Uh, oh, can I just drop pet utility here? That's even better. And I don't need that. I don't need all that. Okay, great. Great. Uh, we're ready for turn-in, so let's, let's roll back. We can actually use our speed skill here. I do love sort of the ambience as I run around here and just kind of take it in. Might as well knock some stuff out for a little bonus XP. So I don't know how many of you are currently playing WoW or if you're new to it or if you are coming back from not playing for a long time, but there is this new tool in your bag called the Clean Up Bags tool. It's really great. So you click that and it sorts your, your gear or sorts everything in your bags based on where you want them to go. So like, I've got gear here, I've got scrap here to sell. It's really nice, it's a great tool. There's also a search bar, which is critical. Well, it's a start. I'll take a few weeks or months to fully clean out the infestation. After that, we'll have to get down there with some torches to burn away the webbing. You've done your duty well, Boneblade. He's actually gonna give us a new crossbow. Ooh, feign death. So feign death is uh, you trick your enemy into ignoring you. You act dead. So check this out. And then, you know, there's a timer, but you could stay for a while if you wanted. 
While you were inside that cave, your big friend Darnell came by with some alarming news. Darnell! Since the Valkyr arrived, we've seen more and more undead that chose not to join our forces under the banner of the Dark Lady. They've been gathering at a small camp here in the valley, and now they've organized forces. They plan to attack Death Nail Hunter. Darnell is just down the road to the east. Be careful, Boneblade. While those undead aren't completely brainless, they're still not quite right in the head. Wait a second, do I get the same crossbow that I just got? The Nightweb crossbow, that's very weird. So it seems like we're about to... We're basically going to be an undead killing other undead, which is um, interesting here. But I suppose if they're trying to fight us back, we got to do something. All right, here's Darnell. Boneblade, you made it. You see those tents up there? That's where we're headed. The battle has probably already started. While you were taking care of matters for Executor Aaron, I went off on an assignment of my own. Shadow Priest Sarvis asked me to peek in on the Rotbrain camp. There's a reason why they're called Rotbrain. <laughs> Their leader goes by the name of Marshall Redpath, and he's an absolute beast. Is this... <laughs> this quest text is making me laugh. I love this guy, Darnell. Look, Boneblade, the attack is starting. You'd better... You're better in combat than I am. Get in there and help out. When you're done, meet up with Shadow Priest Sarvis in the chapel. Good luck, Boneblade. All right, we're charging in. There is some sort of rare here that I want to battle. I don't know how to get to him, but... Fangor. All right, we got to take down some of the rot brains. So much damage. It almost seems a touch unfair. All right. I have no interrupts to stop these mages. That's okay. Where is the big boy we're looking for? Uh, Marshall Redpath. I gotta find him. Is he dead? Yeah, he seems to be. Oh no, he's over here. Great. These quests are uh, keeping it nice and simple. Is this a rare that I could get to if I just ran up here? I, I think I'm going to try this game while you're with me. I have this um, add-on called Rare Scanner, and you can find rares in the wild. So why don't we do a little exploring? I mean, we're in no rush. It seems that there's somebody who lingers. Let me see. Target Fangor. Hmm, doesn't seem like he's spawned. Maybe that's no longer a thing. I don't know. Interesting. We definitely tried. Now look at this, Marshall Red Redpath. Bleh, I'm a monster. Don't look at me. So there's this underlying story, underlying story in the quest line here of undead who don't want to be undead. And I have to be totally honest with you, I'm kind of on their side, which means that we, Boneblade here, are going against these people. So are we to be assumed that we're just joyous to be undead, or at least we're willing to join the, the Dark Lady's banner? That's how it seems. But these poor people who are killing seem crushed. I have to think that if I woke up undead, I would be like them and be very, very sad. Let's see what Shadow Priest Service has to say. Being born again under the power of a Valkyr is a strenuous process. Many don't survive the shock, turning into zombies or ghouls. Others retain just enough humanity to seem normal on the outside, but they're sick inside. We should have slain those rot brands the day they were raised. As for you, you're a strong hunter, Boneblade. I know you'd do well. You'll be headed out of death knell soon. 
Interesting. There's a uh, survival spec uses a staff. I didn't know that. Sarvis produces a piece of paper from within his robes. These will need to be taken to my field agent, Death Guard Simmer. This information contains the whereabouts of the last few holdouts from the Scarlet Crusade. We will destroy these crusaders once and for all. And I have a feeling you'll be instrumental in that effort, Boneblade. Take the road north out of Death Nail. Soon after entering Tirasfall proper, you'll see a large manse. Simmers inside. All right. So we're headed out of this starting area and on to uh, bigger and better things. All right, so we have our sprint now, which is super helpful. And we can kind of just book it out of town. All right, so we'll take we'll soak in some of this environment as we make the trek along the road. Does the bat have any special skills? Let's see. Um, avoidance reduces the damage your pet takes from AOE. A predatory thirst. You and your pet gain ten percent leech. Is that specific to the bat? I'm not sure. We can rename him. I almost want to name him after Darnell, our buddy. I'm going to hold on that for now because uh, if you have a thought for what I should name the bat, go ahead and leave that in the comments and we'll do that in a future episode. All right, here we go. Let's see if the uh, tone and the music change. These lights, they're green. It's very eerie kind of unsettling, and yet there is beauty in it. I mean, it is just an expansive field. It's cool. Okay. All right, so we are almost, we're in the Tiras Fog Glades, and we're headed up here <clears throat> into this little village. Oh, profession strainer. General trading. I'm going to sell some of my goods here. So you can see if I clean it up, I can just easily. This little symbol here means it's worth selling. It's nothing of value to us. So I will sell all of this stuff. Just check out the profession trainer. Um, I wouldn't mind a gathering. Maybe I'll go herbalism and alchemy. I tend to like that combo, I think it's kind of fun. Uh, production. Alchemy. Train me in alchemy. I just have to remember to grab everything. Okay, here's what I'm going to do real quick. I'm going to actually turn on my action bars, and I want the ones on the side. There we go. At least one of them will do. And then I can throw my professions on there. Um, herbalism journal. What is that? So let's see here. Alchemy. I really like this new layout for, again, people who are returning for, this is new in Dragonflight, this whole new layout for professions. It's really nice. Okay, so that is just allowing me, this is my journal. Okay, cool. Very cool. So let's check this out. Speak quickly. Our time will so I'm returning the Scarlet Crusade documents. Yes, this is very good. You've done well in obtaining this information, Boneblade. Hmm. Names of the Scarlet Crusade officers in the Tears Fall Glades. Imagine the blow we could deal to the morale of those bloody zealots if we were to kill their leaders in one swift strike. I will pass this information forward. Humans are notoriously fickle creatures. The farmers to the west are no exception. Sure, they may be plowing their fields peacefully now, but tomorrow they may be raising their scythes against us. The alliance looms close by in Gilneas, and the power of Stormwind looms to the south. Any of these could recruit these tillers and use them as a wedge against us. I want them dead. See to it that it's done. What have we here? You look like a fledgling hunter. If you hope to prove yourself to the Dark Lady, you need to learn the ways of the Forsaken. 
To the west, you'll find a farm. Humans infest the land like mold on a rotting corpse. And worse yet, the Scarlet Crusade patrols nearby from their tower. Teach those scum a lesson and steal ten of their precious pumpkins. A little pumpkin thievery, huh? I just want to see what else is going on in this little town. A bunch of trainers. Does the hunter trainer have anything for me? No. Okay. Alright, let's just check what this big guy has. So we need to get some Tears Fall Pumpkins, and we need to take down these farmers. And that we can do. Ooh, see, a Dark Hounds could be one of my pets. All right. So let's check this out. Should be able to get these pumpkins, no problem. They really start you out with, with some uh, easy quests, huh? I almost wonder if this will spawn the farmers, or are they just nowhere to be found? Here we go. Right, here's another friend as well. A level 41, wow. Farmer Saladin. That seems to be rare. I'd like to uh, find where he is. Let's check it out. Farmer Saladin. Ooh, I got a bag out of it. Okay, so at this point of the story, it seems like we're kind of just... I guess this alchemist wants these pumpkins for some reason, but as for killing these guys, they're human, so I suppose we're afraid they join the Alliance and cause a problem for us. It seems like this pact that is working under Sylvanas that we have joined is just sort of, like, terrified of anyone doing any more damage to them. They're killing everyone. They're killing undead. They're killing humans. Um, it seems a little intense. I'm unsure why we've decided to join them, quite frankly. That's a ding, and we also got Hunter's Mark, which is a great skill. Um, target can always be seen and tracked by the Hunter. So watch this. We see it. It used to increase the range of our weapon. I don't know that it still does. I'm going to drop that there. Pretty big damage output by the uh, hunter. It's nice. All right, just need uh, two more of these fellas. I still don't know why this level 40 is chilling here. It's kind of weird. Okay, great, so we can turn these back in. I wish this was just a little bit of a shorter cooldown. I could really, I could really use that. All right. Maybe I can jump backwards, get a little speed. Didn't, didn't seem to save me much time. Okay. So, gang, I appreciate you hanging out for this one. I'm going to leave this episode just a little bit short, too. We'll turn in these quests and we'll call it. But I plan to put out a whole bunch of these. And if you're enjoying the journey, we're just kind of immersing ourselves, taking our time, soaking in this storyline, and uh, experiencing WoW in uh, 2023, late 2022, 2023. So, I uh, appreciate y'all being here. Let me just read these. You've the markings of a mighty hunter undead. I heard the cries of those humans from all the way over here. Perhaps soon we will be rid of this human blight. This is so dark. All right, I'm gonna wait to pick up these quests until the next, um, the next session. You have performed your bidding well, young hunter. You are proving yourself to be quite an asset to the Dark Lady's army. Okay, so we'll pick up these quests when we return. Thank you all so much for watching, and we'll be back in uh, episode three.